is High School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. Tonight, a girls Franklin County League matchup. It's the Greenfield Green Wave taking on the Frontier Red Hawks. I'm Jeff Terrell, Bobby C. alongside. Our studio producer tonight, as always, is Dave Reno. The first matchup, Bobby, between these two teams, not a bad basketball game as Frontier really took the fight to the Green Wave. They got out to a 10-4 lead early on. Greenfield, though, went on a 14-0 run on a spree that ended the first quarter on into the second quarter to get an 18-10 lead. They end up winning it by 16, but this Frontier team, they can play some basketball. This could and probably should be a pretty good game tonight. Well, I'll tell you right now, every single time the Frontier seems to get together with Greenfield, we seem to have a good game. The thing is that people have to remember is you have three big stars for Greenfield that you have to work with. And Frontier, they seem to do a nice job at least being able to shut down two. The thing is, you really need to shut down three. Between Katie Hazelton and Reagan Hickey and Sam Smith, it's pretty tough to be able to handle all three of them. But these girls from Frontier, with Charlotte Doulette being down low, and good players like Olivia Dean and Marie Demon, who plays really good defense, and the great offense of right now of Amelia Sobieski, these girls have worked very hard this season. And I'll tell you, it's showing right now, this Frontier team has really done well here in the second half of the season. And again, in that first matchup against Greenfield, they did not come in intimidated. They did not come in and uh, you know play tentatively. And I think that that's a trap. Greenfield's big three, they've attained almost mythical status. Two of them have hit for 1,000 points already. Katie Hazelton is well on her way. She'll probably hit that milestone in her junior year, just like Reagan Hickey did. Sam Smith, of course, earlier this year, for senior year, she hit the 1,000-point mark. You know, they become such legendary players it's very easy for teams to come in here, or even if they get them in their own gym, to play very tentatively, kind of wait to see what Greenfield's going to do, wait for Greenfield to defeat themselves. That's not the strategy. The strategy is to go right at them and just sort of, you know, roll those dice and see what happens. Well, the one thing I have to say is I really like Coach Sobieski. I think that she sort of really gets into these girls to say, let's get tough. Let's get right into it. She's a very animated coach, but I also think that she knows how to get these girls to, to you know, build some toughness. And, you know, enough to take anything away from Coach Recor. I thought he did an amazing job. And, by the way, I just want to say that we want to send our best to Coach Recor, you know, having to be able to step down through the halfway through the season here. But, you know, these girls, they really have to respond to the coach. And I just am a big fan of Coach Sobieski, and I think that she always has that attitude of the eye of the tiger. And you need that against Greenfield, Jeff, as you just said. Otherwise, they can put a 20 spot on you real fast, and all of a sudden you're like, we're down by 18 already? It happens that fast, Jeff. We are about five minutes away from the start of tonight's game. We'll step aside for this break. We'll come back. Introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. Greenfield Frontier Girls next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield.
Well, we had a fantastic junior varsity game that just wrapped up a moment ago. Frontier in overtime over Greenfield. The Lady Wave with a great fourth quarter comeback to send the game in OT, but the Red Hawks made all the critical plays down the stretch. They ended up winning it. Nice job by both teams. That was a fun game to watch, too, by the way. And those girls really battled, too, Jeff. A lot of battling going on between those two teams here earlier tonight. And I think we're going to see the same thing here, too. I think you're going to see Frontier come out very aggressive. You know how Greenfield works. They're going to move the ball. They're going to make the right plays. And they're going to do everything that they possibly can to continue their offensive attack to the basket. And they do it very well. All right. Sam Smith will be jumping center as usual for Greenfield. Going up against Amelia Sobieski. Frontier in the visiting Navy. Greenfield on the home white with green. Lead official Jerry Burgess, ball in the air, tip controlled by Greenfield. They'll attack the basket on the far side of the court. And right off the jump, Reagan Hickey with a deep three, no good. Rebound comes down on the right side, all the way through. Sobieski sealed off. And the paint going up strong, off the window, too strong. That shot is no good by Charlotte Dulette. Comes back to Greenfield, but they turn it over. Yeah, double dribble by Katie Hazelton. Very unfortunate for her because she doesn't normally start a game off like this. Olivia Dean will throw in on the uh, far side left. Well, we have a brief delay. What's happening here? What in the world's going on here? We have a, okay, Jerry Burgess will now go. Oh, they're fixing the uh, possession arrow. Okay. Oh, okay. We're good. Because Greenfield had it first. Greenfield won the tip. Right. So on the arrow, we would go to Frontier the next time we have a held ball. All right, point guard, Ariana Walker between the circles. Right side, it goes to Dean. They work it to the left. Trying to get it down low to Charlotte Dulac. Can't do so. Walker, her pass, though, goes right to Reagan Hickey. Reagan tears off on the left side, goes up, is blocked. She's looking for the foul call, didn't get it. Held ball on the rebound, it'll go to Greenfield. Oh, beautiful block right there by Olivia Dean. Nice defense played right there by the Red Hawks. Good start for them on the defensive end here. 7.22 to play here in the opening quarter. Walker inbounding against a very tough Greenfield D. Gets it into Olivia Dean, but loses it in the backcourt to Katie Hazelton. Pulls it back on the right wing. Top of the key, Olivia Joy. Pulls it over to Raquel Provost. Left side to Hickey. Reagan holding. Dumps it down low. Tipped away from Sam Smith. It comes down to Frontier. Great interior D. Falling backwards was Dean, but he was able to get the ball away to Ariana Walker. Walker, they throw it left side, out of bounds, back to Greenfield. So a really ragged start to this basketball game so far. Yep, the uh, butterflies are kicking in here. They are a little over a minute in, no score. Deep on the right side, Katie Hazelton. And a little wraparound pass gets kicked by Ariana Walker, so a new shot clock for the Wave. And it looks like uh, Raquel Provost will throw in right near the frontier bench. Gets it into Sam Smith, right back to Provost on the right side, Reagan Hickey, right wing. High post, they go to Smith, turn, shoots, banks it home. Oh, that's how I love when they use the glass. Nice job right there by Sam Smith. 
Beautiful entry pass as well. They get it into Dean. Dean of the backcourt. Greenfield looks to get a steal, they do. But recaptured there by Urana Walker. Walker takes it across the timeline right into the front court. Mostly guarded by Provost. Picks up the dribble, poked away, recaptured, poked away again. Provost with those quick hands. They finally get it to Marie Demon. Left side pass. Screened by the official. I think it's Ariel Walker uh, throwing up kind of a wild shot that is no good. And the rebound taken down by Greenfield. Megan Hickey right of the lane. Shuffle pass to Smith. Sam from 12 does not get the bounce. Tipped around, comes back to Reagan Hickey on the right side. Has it now top of the key. Bounce pass, Provost for three. Short, offensive put back by Smith. Yes, and one. Oh, beautiful job right there by Sam Smith. Taking that rebound, goes up strong. Gets fouled by Sobieski, but a nice job by Sam Smith. She is dominating down low right now, early. Keatlin Mackin checks in for Frontier. Sitting down will be Ariana Walker. I'll tell you, she is such a powerful, strong girl, Jeff. Now she is a handful to deal with, no question. Free throw is on the way. Three-point play by Smith, so it's Sam Smith five. <laughs> and Frontier nothing. Nice start to the game for the Greenfield senior. Yeah, she's playing really well to start here. Mackin. Picks up a ball that was nearly thrown away. Caitlin takes it across the timeline, looking for some help. Gets it away, Marie Demon. They go over the left side, Sobieski. Into the paint, runner off the back window, no good. Marie Demon, the put back off the glass and in. Ah, nice job right there by Marie Demon, picking up that nice offensive rebound, getting the two. Frontier on the board, it's 5-2 Greenfield. Raquel Provost, left side, high post, Smith. Double team, triple team, nearly had it poked away. Puts it to the floor, gets away to Hazelton, cuts through the paint, blocked on the way up. Nice D by Frontier. Long lead pass though, too far. Picked up by Raquel Provost. Gets it over to Hickey. Reagan runs it up on the right. Top of the key. Sam Smith, gonna take a deep jumper. Wasn't good for three, in and out no good anyway. Frontier now coming back, they trail by three. Olivia Dean, her bounce pass, looking at it to Demon, it went right to Reagan Hickey, up ahead to Smith, Sam all the way through, stops, pops, and hits. Oh man, Sam Smith, having her way down low. You know, I gotta tell you though, Amelia Sobieski has done a nice job down there, but she can't do it by herself. Steal by Katie Hazelton, had it poked away, goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Greenfield. 4.26 to play, first quarter, Greenfield seven, Frontier two. In that first meeting, Frontier got off to a 10-4 lead early on. Good no gymnasium early in the season. They get it in to Mackin. Underneath the Greenfield basket, she's in trouble. Got her lead to Marie Demon. Throws a pass up. Olivia Dean will take it on the left side. Stops there. Dean cross court pass on the right side to Mackin. Mackin into the paint. Stolen away by Smith to Reagan Hickey. Reagan accelerates into the front court. Left side now circles on back. Looking for some help. Gets it to Smith. Well beyond the arc. Gets it back to Reagan Hickey, left wing. Shot clock at 15 seconds. Hickey, shuffle pass. Here comes Katie Hazelton to the foul line, right side. Deep three ball by Provost, an air ball too strong, out of bounds, back to Frontier. Yeah, good defense right there by the Red Hawks, doing a nice job being able to just keep their hands up and doing a good job staying in the face of the Greenfield offensive team here. Christina Reed will check in for the Lady Wave, and sitting down will be Olivia Joy. Right now, the big three, it's really just been one. So far, anyway. Oh, Marie Demon goes down hard. She got tripped by Katie Hazelton, and the ball ended up coming down to us. Everybody's okay, but she went down hard. Dean will throw in just off to our right. Olivia, just a sophomore, gets the ball, smacks it, looks to throw in. Having a little bit of trouble. Finally over the head of Marie Demon as Greenfield defended that inbounds play great. That was an excellent defensive job right there by the Wave. 3.44 to play here in the first quarter. Greenfield seven, Frontier two. Hickey, center court circle. Angles towards the right, attacks the basket. Nice dish down low, Provost hits from the left block. You know, one thing we can say about Reagan Hickey, she does an awesome job at passing, Jeffrey. We were here one night, I think it was that Turner's game. She was amazing. 
All right, time now called by Frontier. We'll take the break. 3.26 to play here in the first quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Greenfield 9, Frontier 2. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. All right, we're back here at Nichols Gym. Bobby, your observation during the timeout, we'll, we'll share it now with the audience. Only Greenfield could play sloppy and still lead by seven halfway through the first quarter. It just amazes me, you know, I'm like, geez, they, they really haven't played that great here in the first quarter, and they got a seven point lead. I mean, it just amazes me on how good this Greenfield team really is. Sam Smith got, got them off to a great start. And she's back out there along with uh, Christina Reed. So those are the two tall girls. And you got Hickey on, oh, that's batted down. Greenfield's gonna get it right back now. Reagan Hickey, top of the key, right side to Smith. And they're gonna get with steps as she up faked and tried to drive. Boy, a lot of kids do that, Jeff. Oh yeah. They get that. They don't realize that when they're bringing the hand up, they're also shuffling feet. Uh, that's my old playing days way back in the day at the Greenfield Wire. I got whistled for that all the time. Did you? Just, oh yeah. my God, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. All, all the time. <laughs> well, the kids are still doing it today, Jeff, so there you go. Yeah. Frontier turned it right back over though. Greenfield with the ball. Hazelton between the circles. Right side pass to Hickey. Reagan holds over ahead. Gets it top of the key. Christina Reed gives it up. Coming through Hazelton, slices into the paint. Blocked on the way up. So Katie, well, Greenfield though gets it right back again because Raquel Provost is an amazing defender. That is her best thing that she does is defend. On the left side, it's Reagan Hickey. She's gonna launch a three, got it! Dang, nothing but nylon right there for Reagan. Nice way to, for her to get in the scoring column. Greenfield's lead is 10, 12-2. Again, they put on that full court press. Mackin in the backcourt, taking it across. Double team, gets it over on the left side. Jumper by Marie Demon, front rim no good. Battle for the rebound, comes down the Provost. Raquel, nice ball handler too. Got it away to Reagan Hickey. Reagan, top of the key. Got high dribble, shuffle pass to Katie Hazelton. She's gonna take a rainbow three, back rim no. Sam Smith, skies for the rebound. Nice dish to Hazelton who banks it home. Oh, how nice was that? Sam Smith sees a cutting Hazelton. Beautiful two right there for the wave. Greenfield leads 14 to two. Two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Coming across now is Dean. Runs into a double team, but is able to get by Christina Reed. Now peels it back. Picks up the dribble. All alone down low, and shot in and out, no good. They really were able to get Sobieski down low, but couldn't get the uh, shot to go. Greenfield heading down the other way, and a foul called against Frontier. And they uh, ticketed Reed Dean. Her first. Second team foul this half. Raquel Provost checks out. Great minutes. Great minutes on the defensive end by Raquel Provost. And Bree Rivera into the lineup now for the Green Wave. Hickey, top of the key. Left side pass. Hazelton, top of the key to Smith. Go right side now to Hickey. Reagan on the wing. Christina Reed, left of the lane, got away. Hazelton, Smith from the foul line, right side to Bree Rivera. Cuts all the way through, and the runner by Rivera is good. Oh, nice job right there by Bree. Boy, there's a girl who's really improved her game over the last couple of seasons, Jeff. Yeah, just what opponents of Greenfield need. Another younger player coming up and <laughs> starting to assert herself. As, yeah. if, as if the big three wasn't enough of a headache to deal with. I agree with you, bud. Coming through, and the shot is blocked. Dean unable to get it towards the bucket. Here comes Reagan Hickey. Oh, look at the athleticism. All the way through, puts it off the glass. Too strong, no good. Put back by Smith, yes. Wow, they're really dominating right now. Greenfield having their way here Eight, in this one. 18 to two, Greenway, 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. No foul, no Dean foul. picks up the dribble, throws up ahead. Ariana Walker back in the lineup. Back to Dean on the right. Tries to get a screen from Mackin. Greenfield though switches off and a steal by Smith up ahead. Bree Rivera doesn't have the numbers. Gets it back to Katie Hazelton on the right. Back to Rivera on the wing. Now score pass left side to Hickey. Shot clock off 18 of the game clock. Greenfield by 16. Reagan Hickey from 17. No good. Battle for the rebound comes down the frontier. Marie Demon, nine seconds left. Takes it all the way through. Gives it up, Sobieski. Foul line jumper by Mackin. Went for the bank, back rim, no good. Demon the rebound, a loud block by Smith. 
at the buzzer. Shot no good by Walker. Wow, what a defensive play right there by Sam Smith at the end. Greenfield's on fire. End of one on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Greenfield 18, Frontier 2, second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Second quarter underway now. Greenfield with the ball and the big lead, 18 to two. They got Smith off to a strong start, but then everybody else started to chip in. Five different scores, Bobby, you said. Yep, five the scores book. in the first quarter. Wow. Nice job by Greenfield. It'll be a joy, he got it back. Hazelton gets it down low to Smith. Sam Turn shoots, hits again. Wow, she's Unstoppable. just having her way, man. She really is. She's done a nice job, though, being able to make those nice, easy three-footers, man. Greenfield 20, Frontier 2. Ariana Walker brings it up, passes right side, Dean for three, back rim, no. Rebound comes to Katie Hazelton. Katie dribbles through the Frontier D, sets up between the circles. Right side pass to Smith, right back to Hazelton. Left side to Provost. Megan Hickey fakes the three, takes it through. Provost. Hazelton top of the key, back to Provost. Raquel puts up the shot for three, no, but a foul on Marie Demon, and we have three free throws coming up. Yep. Oh, is it on Demon, or is it actually is it on Mackin? They got it on Demon. Yep, it's yep. on Marie. Yep. So she's got two on her. And three free throws for Provost. First one is on the way, that is good. 21 to two Greenfield, two more now for Raquel. Second one on the way. That is no good. One of the Frontier girls filled the lane. Not a lane right. violation, though she waited, but it's not a rebounding situation. And here comes the third on its way. That is good, she makes two of three, and Greenfield has opened up a 20 point lead, 22 to two, a minute into the second quarter. In the backcourt is Demon, tried to split the D, poked away though, Hazelton has it. Dishes it back to Reagan Hickey. On the right side, does a 360, went for the bank, no good. Rebound taken down by Dulek. Dulek gets it back, Charlotte on the foul line. Over to Ariana Walker, comes all the way through. Little scoop shot, partially blocked by Provost. Great D again her by Raquel. Katie Hazelton all the way down court, a little bit too strong, put back up and good by Reagan Hickey. Wow, they just are so fast and so good at being able to get under the basket to pick up those rebounds. 24 to two green plays. They want to put this one away right now. Ooh, big collision as Hazelton went for the steal and ends up in the hands of Smith. Katie gets it back on the left wing. Back to Sam Smith. And over the right corner it goes to Hickey. Reagan dumps it right down low. Olivia Joy gets it back on the right side to Hickey. Reagan, Raquel Provost, they work it all the way around the horn. Left corner, Joy, oh, great ball movement. Hickey to Smith, couldn't finish, but great passing there by the wave. Loved it, loved it. Raquel Provost is everywhere, Jeffrey, on went, the defensive end. Went for the steal, ball ended up out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier. No, it, was, it, should, have, it should be Greenfield ball. Yeah, the ball was off the uh, Frontier uh, player. Yeah, and Raquel Provost is one of the smallest girls on the floor, and she is everywhere. Gets it into Hickey, over on the left side. Hazelton back to Hickey on the right, and a high post Smith. 
at this ball movement. Launching for three, Hazelton no good. Ariana Walker the rebound. Outlet on the right to Mack and up ahead Marie Demon on the wing. Little crossover dribble. Takes it between the circles, looking to the left. Looking to get the girls cutting and moving. Wrapper on Prash, trying to get it to Dulette. Picked off though. Here comes Reagan Hickey the other way. Goes up, little scoop shot, puts it up and in. Wow, oh. what a shot, man. You know the old <laughs> saying, we were kids, that was a little dipsy do, man. That was sweet. 26 to two, and now another collision. We've had about three or four of them. This time it was between Olivia Joy and Caitlin Mack, and that foul is gonna go on OJ, her first. And a timeout on the floor. We'll step aside. 504 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, all Greenfield, the Wave leads Frontier 26 to 2. This is Bear Country 95.3. Before we go any further, I want to wish a happy 23rd birthday to Reagan Hickey's older brother, Parker Hickey, is 23 years old today. And that kid, I had a lot of fun broadcasting his games. He was one of those money kids. Love he, to he, shoot the long ball, brother. He, he was a long ball shooter. Yeah, he, he won a game against <laughs> Turner's Falls in boys basketball. He won a couple of football games with some late catches. Uh, one, one game at Mahar, another game over at Vetsfield. He was just a money, money guy, and he's 23 today. And I just want to say that I had a chance to be able to see a lot of cool birthdays this month. I saw your son. I saw uh, Mr. Hickey and my wife's birthdays this month, my brother. Man, February, it's all about the love, baby. Frontier tried to win the ball, and the ball into the lane, picked off though by Greenfield. Hazelton got it to Hickey, Reagan. It's it back to Hazelton between the circles. Katie throws left side to Provost. They dump it down low to Joy. Into Smith, over to Joy. Joy takes a 17-footer, no good. Comes down to Frontier. Sobieski in the backcourt. And now it's Dean. Will be a Dean into the front court, head of the circle. It's a screen from Mack and Greenfield, though. They double down on her. She's in big trouble, but dribbles away. All the way through the paint, the runner is up and in. Nice play there by Dean. That was an excellent job right there by Olivia Dean. Why not? If you gotta go and you got people that are double teaming you, use your speed, take it to the hole. Great job right there by Olivia. 26 to four, Greenfield, they go back to Smith. No good, Greenfield uh, a little quiet offensively right now. Provost, a line drive jumper, no good. Rebound comes back down the frontier. Taking it across is Mackin. Into the front court, Charlotte Dulet. Back on the wing to Dean. Olivia between the circles. And on the right side, now coming through is Ariana Walker. Tied up, oh, nice job there by Dulette to keep it alive, but now stripped of the ball as she came through the lane was Dean. Here comes Reagan Hickey. Hickey on the right-hand side. Deep three ball right side, ooh, did everything but fall in. And we got a foul on the rebound. Did they get Charlotte Dulette on that one? Because that's the only one that was down underneath the basket. And it's gonna go against uh, Greenfield, actually. It well, is. Who did they post? They got Sam Smith, because they're the only two. It was her and Dulette that were battling down there. So it did go against Sam Smith, so. Coming on through, and Bree Rivera went for the steal, but they're gonna get her with a reach-in foul. You know, I, I look at the way Greenfield plays their suffocating defense when it comes to the press. A lot of teams don't know what to do. They just don't yeah. know what to do. Well, what it feels like is it feels like you're playing five on eight. <laughs> it's it really al true. And Jeff. it also feels like it's being played at warp speed. And mm. you need to use your brain to slow everything down. Easier said than done. But I, I remember so many coaches saying you need to slow the game down in your head. But it's, it's very, very hard to do. I agree. Walker deep on the right. Wraparound pass. Oh, off the hands of Charlotte Gillette out of bounds. And the Green Wave will get it back, leading 26 to four. Coach Hickey's calling out a play here, which is nice to see. Even with three minutes left and you're still up by 22, you got to get these girls to be able to still set up plays. Deep on the left side, it is Hickey. It's Christina Reed, her pass between the hands of Hazelton. Katie though gets it back top of the key. Right side to Rivera. Bree holds there. Back to Hazelton. Nearly a steal by Sobieski. Katie Hazelton got blocked from behind as she launched a three. And it comes right down to Sam Smith who puts it up and in. That's because she's always underneath the basket. And if she gets a hold of that ball, it's a guaranteed two. Ball tipped out of bounds off of Hazelton. It will stay 
with Frontier. 2.27 to play here in the first half. And now Jerry Burgess, the official, is going to walk towards the Frontier bench. Now towards the scores table, not sure what he's saying. He's yeah. trying to read lips. Oh, he took a second off the uh, okay. shot clock because it was a... Uh, oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah. Boy, uh, he's got a good eye. He does. Virgie <laughs> caught that. Nice job, yeah. okay. He still has got, he's a veteran ref, but he still has some tread on the tire. He's got it, baby, he's got it. Coming through, Gillette blocked by Smith again. Oh, man, right. <laughs> Poor Charlotte Dulette. Yeah. She's done a good job trying to get the ball up, but Sam Smith's in her pocket. Frontier keeps the ball though, Mackin on the right wing. Wraparound pass between the circles, Walker. Left side to Dean. Dean, nice ball control, nice job. Comes down, a blocking foul. Oh, nope, went out of bounds. Called her out of bounds, good defense yep. right there by Katie Hazleton, nice job. I'll tell you right now, you know what I love about this so far, Jeff, is you got Brianna Rivera, who um, is in the game. You got Christina Reed, who's also in the game. They're, they're getting some they tried to feed it down low, and pass got tipped out of bounds. And they're they're really they're really getting an extra, a lot of extra playing time right now tonight. And I give Coach Hick a lot of credit being able to give these two girls, Christina Reed, and also Brianna Rivera, that extra time early in this game. Excellent. Katie Hazelton, she takes a, a rather Reagan Hickey a three that did everything but drop for her. Coming all the way through now, Sobieski drives the length of the court, lays it up and in. Well, maybe what Frontier needs to do right now, Jeff, is just attack the basket. Just attack it. Katie Hazelton moves it away to Reagan Hickey. Hazelton top of the key, left side of Rivera. Bree gets a screen from Reed. Back top of the key, Smith beyond the arc to Katie Hazelton. Shot clock at 12. Here comes Reagan Hickey now. Bounce pass to Smith, looking for the cutter. It's Hazel Tempa. Nice job of anticipating, though, by Walker. Picks it off for Frontier. And then back now is Dean. Picked off, though, by Hazelton. Tried to get it to Walker. Here comes Katie back the other way. On the right side, pulls it back. Top of the key, Smith. Fakes it. Rivera's going to take a deep three. That is no good. Follows her shot. Held ball on the rebound. Arrow favors Frontier with 49 seconds left in the half. One of the things I've always taught in basketball is you gotta follow your shot. Great job right there by Bree Rivera being able to follow her shot, and that's why she was able to get that hold up on that for a tie, for a tie up on that play. In a minute here, I'll give you one example of a local player who did not follow his shot, but it didn't matter. Okay. I'll tell you who it was in a minute. All right. Dulette double team. Her pass batted down by Greenfield. Here comes Hickey. Reagan passes right side to Smith. Stops, pops, hits. Yeah, beautiful job. This team can run. One thing we can say about Greenfield is they can run, too. Shot clock off, 23 seconds left in the half. Frontier now coming back from the foul line. Sobieski goes deep on the left side. All right, back to Dean. They can hold for one shot if they want. Poked away, nice play by Hazelton to Hickey. Three on one break, Rivera, lefty lane is good. Oh, great job right there by the wave on the defensive end. And Solid first half. And it looks like that's how the half will end. And that'll do it. Halftime here at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Greenfield 32, Frontier 6. The halftime report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield.
All right, halftime here at Greenfield High School. The Lady Wave of Greenfield leading 32 to six over the Frontier Red Hawks. A little bit slow start for Greenfield, except for Sam Smith, but Bobby, they're getting contributions from just about everybody. Really, really impressive basketball team. You know, I'm not only impressed with the fact that the three on the team are doing what they normally do, but it's nice to see other girls that have been able to get in this game and make a contribution to the team, like Bree Rivera, and being able to see Raquel Provost and even uh, Christina Reed getting some extra minutes here in the first half here tonight. Coach Hickey, what he's done is, is he said, you know what? We're going to get seven or eight of you guys out there tonight. We're going to get you in the first half. We're not going to put you in the second half. And I want to see what you guys can do. <laughs> These girls have responded. I'm very, very impressed with that. Frontier, I mean, offensively, they're just having a really, really tough time. It seems like they don't really know what they want to do. They've had several instances where they tried to set up the half-court offense. I applaud that. Other times they've tried to attack the rim, but even when they do that, they've got number 32 for Greenfield just waiting down there, and she's batting them back, right, right, right back in their face. Exactly, and you know, and poor Charlotte Doulette, she's had no chance to be able to do that. But I want to say one thing. All three of the baskets that were scored here tonight by Frontier were all by attacking the basket. And really, let's be honest, Jeff, Greenfield has only had one three-pointer here in the first half. Normally they have a lot more between Reagan Hickey and Hazleton here tonight and only the one by Reagan Hickey in the first quarter is it for deep balls. All the rest have been pretty much down low. All right, so Greenfield leading big here at halftime, 32 to 26. We'll take a timeout with Bear Country 95.3. All right, second half is underway. Each team with their original starting five on the floor. We'll see how long Greenfield's starting five is out there. They have the 26 point lead as the third quarter is underway. Sam Smith at the top of the key. Double team right side to Katie Hazelton. Her leaner as the shot clock was running down. No good, but Sam Smith swoops through and puts it right back up and in. She attacks the basket all the time, Jeff. Every time one of the players shoots for Greenfield, she attacks the basket. That's why she is a great center. I think that kid might be getting another Helen Chemical Player of the Game t-shirt. As Player of the Game, she just got a block down low, doing it on both ends. Of course, she won a t-shirt earlier this year, the night she hit her 1,000 career point milestone joining her teammate Reagan Hickey. Again, as we mentioned on the pregame show, Katie Hazleton, although she's not scoring a lot tonight, she's well on her way to 1,000. She'll get it the junior year next year. Shot up and no good by Sobieski. One and done for the Hawks. Reagan Hickey comes back quickly, kicks it over to Hazleton, fakes the three. Back to Reagan, right corner, wide open three ball, front rim no, got her own rebound and puts it up in and out, no good. Smith. Another rebound for Greenfield. New shot clock for the wave. Wow, so good. She is so good. Deep on the right wing is Katie Hazelton. She'll go right baseline now. Backs it out. She could not quite penetrate. Top of the key, Hickey. Into the paint. Got blocked down low. Here comes Walker. Very quick. Nice dish down low. Sobieski the lay in. No good. And it comes down to Hazelton. Wow, what a nice dish right there by Ariana Walker, right yeah. into a wide open Sobieski. And Too bad she wasn't able to get that. They needed that bucket. She is fast, Walker is. Yeah, she, she got sure down is. the court in a hurry. Picky, top of the key, beyond the arc. Shot clock down to 12. Provost down the right. Had to bat it down, got it back, backs it out. Over to Joy, dumps it down low. Smith through a double team off the glass and in. Unstoppable, Bobby. She is unstoppable tonight. Nobody can stop her because she's just so powerful and she's so strong and she's doing such a great job getting under the basket. Steal by Hazelton. Katie drives all the way through. Yes, and one. Wow, this team is so good. Just amazes me on how disciplined this team really is and very unselfish, very unselfish. And Hazleton now will try to make it a three-point play. Right-handed shooter. Dips, shoots. It is front rim no. And rebound to Sobieski. Sobieski gets it to Marie Demon. Struggled with foul trouble. Ooh, loses her footing. She's in a bit of trouble. Got her away though to Delette. Charlotte cross-court pass on the right to Dean. Shot clock at 15. Olivia Dean guarded by Hickey. Right side pass, Murray Demon, nearly stolen by Hazleton, but gets the turnover anyway because 
the pass went awry because of Katie. Great defense right there again by the Wave. They're really suffocating Frontier right now here tonight. Raquel Provost deep on the left wing. Top of the key to Smith. Down low, Hazleton found herself all alone and she banks it up and in. Yeah, but look at that great assist right there by Sam Smith, still involved in making plays. Boy, she just, uh, I mean, she was a good player heading into the season anyway, but she has just gone to another level. Nice reverse lane on the baseline by Marie Demon. How about that? Uh, I loved it. That was a beautiful job. Way to go, Marie. That was beautiful sweet. 40 to eight though, Greenfield, they're leading big, but Frontier has had their moments. And we'll make, once we have a stoppage of play, we're gonna make, an, uh, we're gonna make a point about this Frontier Red Hawk team because they're not going anywhere. I don't and think so. A three second call against Greenfield. They, when this season is over, they'll lose Ariana Walker, their point guard. But they will be bringing back Caitlin Mackin, who's only a freshman. They will bring back Sobieski, a sophomore. Dulette, a sophomore. Dean, a sophomore. Demon, a junior. I Amazing. mean. Amazing. They have a young team that is so good, Jeff. And I'll tell you right now, these two teams next year, oh. it'll be a lot of fun, baby. Oh, yeah. It'll be a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, Greenfield's, uh, <laughs> Greenfield's not going to be quite at the level they are this year, but they'll have Hazleton and Provost and Reed. They, yeah, they have some kids coming back next year. Oh, yeah, and but some it'll be fun, though. Back, but this, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll be a lot closer next year. I agree. Dean, cross court pass on the left side to Sobieski. Holds there, stops, pops, hits for three. Nice job right there by Amelia. Amelia Sobieski. Oh, uh, you know what? They gave her two. Sorry oh, about okay. that. I thought it was a three, but it's 40 to 10. Sam Smith's going to take a three. Why not? <laughs> you, you've done everything else. Yeah. <laughs> three ball for Smith. Wow. wow. What a performance by Sam. Inside, outside tonight. Everywhere. Oh, passing the blocks, the yeah, steals. It's crazy. I think she stole popcorn before the game. <laughs> <laughs> Sobieski. No, it's Dean, top of the key. She'll take a three. That is no good. Battle for the board. It comes down to Hickey. Greenfield, as usual, running. Hickey, nice dish to Smith. Banks it home. Ah, just a great job. You know what? The big three for Greenfield were all down there to be able to give it. Who wants it? Here yep. you go. Let's do it. That's <laughs> awesome, man. On the left side is Dean. Top of the key, Marie Demon. Puts it to the floor. Dribbles into a double team. Greenfield able to lock her up on the arrow, though. It'll stay with the Hawks. Well, I'll tell you right now, we're getting ready for some sub changes here. Sam Smith, huge minutes right here by Sam Smith here tonight. Huge minutes. And Reagan Hickey comes off as well. They could be done. Yeah. I would think that they're. Uh, well, you know, you got to get them ready for the next big game. Yep. And they got a big game on Monday night against Marhar. That's Maybe right. we can talk a little bit about that in our broadcast here today. If we got a moment here, Jeff, because that's going to be a good one as well. They were behind big against the Senators before they had to come from behind to win. Sobieski, and a nice job. Jumper from the free throw line left by Sobieski. So Frontier starting to heat up a little bit. They have scored six points here in this quarter. After scoring only six. First half shot up, no good. And comes down to Frontier again. Olivia Dean, left of the lane. Double team there, cross court pass. Sobieski in the paint, little scoop shot. The runner is no good. Rebound put up, no good, but a foul. And Caitlin Mackin will go to the line for two. A little bit of a different team for Greenfield when you take out two of their top three players. Yes. Absolutely. There's a huge difference because those two girls play like four, and that's the, that's the truth. First free throw is up. It is good by Mackin. And Caitlin, just a freshman. She will get one more here. And that one is good as well. Nicely done by the ninth grader. It's 45-14 now, Greenfield leading by 31 points. They have been in control throughout. Sam Smith got off to, if you're just joining us, she got off to a great start. I think the first seven points were all scored by her. And another player started to get involved. Katie Hazleton comes through, reach and foul called as she entered the paint. Foul was on the floor, so Greenfield will inbound right in front of us. Provost will throw in for the wave. 
Gets it into Hazleton on the right side. Katie, top of the key, Rivera. Bree holds there. Eagles towards the right, throws on the right side. Hazleton gets a screen. Nice give and go, down low. Christina Ree hits in the paint. Nice job right there by Christina. Nice give and go there. I love the give and goes, man. Two minutes to play here, third quarter. Greenfield leading big, leading by 33. And they go back door to Mackin, puts it up, no good. Offensive rebound, Sobieski goes up strong, no. Comes down the read, got it over to Hazelton. Katie, accelerates into the front court, pulls it back, look at her handling that basketball. Right side pass, Rivera, she's gonna take a three. Just misses, in and out, no good. Battle for the rebound, Joy ripped it back. Provost puts up a three ball, no good. Finally, Mackin the rebound for Frontier. Kayla loops it up. On the right side to Dean. Nice dish to Mackin. Beautiful feed by Marie Demon. Frontier yeah. playing really good basketball here in the third. Yeah, nice job right there. Way to make some adjustments at halftime. Nice job there by Coach Betsy Sobieski. There you go, top of the key now to Joy. Joy throws to Hazelton, back top of the key. Christina Reed. Over to Hazelton, shot clock down to 10. Katie, top of the key. Throws left side, Rivera. It's a screen from Hazelton. We're gonna give and go. Foul on Marie Demon on the block. I wanna bring something up here, Jeff. If you look at the Greenfield lineup right now, who's out there, those five players that are out there will be back next year for the Wave. So the, yeah, this yeah. is this is uh, yep, this, this is, is be, this is their team. Yep. Next year, yeah. This is it. Exactly. Provost. On the right, puts it to the floor, back top of the key, Christina Reed. Puts it down low, coming through, Olivia Joy. Get it back to Reed, shot clock at 15. Christina, right side pass to Bree Rivera. And they dump it down low, Katie Hazelton. Another foul called on Frontier, so another new shot clock for Greenfield. 20, actually shot clock's off, 26 seconds left here in the third. Still not bad though, fouls in this game have been very minor. Deep on the right side, left side rather. 20 seconds to play in the third. Christina Reed gets it back to Rivera. Top of the key to the line, to the lane. Throws up a runner off balance, no good. Olivia Joy got the rebound. Back to Reed. Christina puts it up, no good. Finally, a defensive rebound by Frontier. Eight seconds left here in the quarter. They're gonna push it up here. On the right side, Dean has it. Three seconds, two at the buzzer, throws it up. No good. End of three here at Nichols Gym and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Greenfield 47, Frontier 16 on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Fourth quarter underway. Greenfield has Hickey and Smith back out there now to begin the fourth quarter. Give them a couple of extra minutes. Christina Reed had it poked away by Frontier. Goes out of bounds off the Hawks. Only four seconds, though, on the shot clock. So Greenfield out there with Provost, Rivera, Reed, Smith, and Hickey. Reagan will throw in right in front of us. Reagan smacks that ball. Gets it in, try to get it into Smith, thrown out of bounds. Oh, it was not off of the Frontier defender, Dulette. It was off of Hickey, threw it away, and 
Hawks get it back. They played much better in that third quarter, Bobby. They scored 10, right? They did, and Greenfield scored 15. So a much better showing right there. Honestly, they scored more points in the third quarter than they did in the whole first half. So nice adjustments right there by Coach Zobieski. Reaching foul called against Greenfield. I'm gonna get Provost on the reach in. Second team foul this half, first personal on Raquel. Dean will throw in on the baseline. Throws in. Warren just checked in the lineup. Gets it down low. Gillette, nice power move. High off the glass, that is no good, but she did get it over Smith for once. Get the ball back. Top of the key. Rainbow three put up and no good. Sobieski just missed it. Smith, her pass up to Rivera. Bree runs all the way through. Her runner is no good. Rebound comes to Dean. Nice job attacking the basket by Rivera. Warren, bounce pass into the paint, sealed off by Greenfield, loose ball picked up by the way. Rivera, no, they got it with steps. Good steal by Christina Reed, though. Excellent job done by her. Greenfield still doing a nice job playing the defensive end of basketball, especially with this younger group that's in there right now. On the left side, it goes off. Caitlin Mackin's hands into the backcourt. It was tipped around, held ball. The arrow will favor the Hawks. I was taking a look at Coach Hickey, and what he did was is he kept Hazelton in and took out Hickey and also Smith. Now, Hazelton's getting her rest, and he brought the other two back in. So he's not riding all three at the same time right now, which, which I think is good. And also some of the younger girls are, are getting, getting a that chance. Exactly. They're, they're getting that playing time with members of the big three. Which is a very good thing to do. Top of the key, they work it left side to Warren. Gets it down low, Sobieski up fake, gets it back. Trying to get it up over Smith, she does. No good, but a foul on Sam Smith. And Sam's like, ah, wanted that block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's had a truckload of them. <laughs> Two personal fouls on Smitty. I, lo I, I love their facial expression on that. Yeah. So, uh, all I can do is deliver the message, folks. I can't, I, I can't do any better than that here in radio, but. First free throw by Sobieski is good. She's had an excellent season. You know that? Yep, just Amelia a softball. Sobieski's two more years game. at Frontier Regional. It's going to be a big part of this program in the next two years, let me tell you. That shot is up and good. 47-18. Greenfield's lead. Right now at uh, 29 points. Vicky between the circles. Rolls on the left side, pulls it back. Bree Rivera on the wing. Keeps that dribble going. Shuffle pass to Smith. Dumps it down low. Christina Reed. Gets it back to Provost. Shot clock down to six. Down to Smith again. Went for the bank. No good. Rebound taken down by Dean. Dean will take it across herself. Into the front court. Throws right side to Warren. Warren passes to the foul line. Jumper put up by Sobieski, banked at home. Nice ball movement there by the Hawks. Excellent job right there by the Frontier Red Hawks. Good ball movement, ladies. Well, they were trailing by, it was almost up to 40 points at one point. It's down to 27 now, as Frontier's offense has really come to life after only scoring six in that first half. It was 32-6 at halftime. So basically a standoff since then. Reagan Hickey, nice power move. Reagan went to the bank, no good. Rebound Frontier, foul on Greenfield. And it's gonna go against Reagan Hickey. It's two on Reagan. Rivera checks out, Hazelton back in for Greenfield. And coming out there is Abby Roberts, a sophomore guard for Frontier, seeing her first minutes tonight. 5-16 to play, Greenfield leads by 27. Roberts has it, her first touch. Going through now is Dean on the left side, goes right by, goes for the reverse lay-in, blocked down low, but put back by Mackin. Oh, nice job nice there job. by Kaylin. Yes, absolutely. Greenfield's lead down to 25. Katie Hazelton wide open for three, yes. Bang! No one near her, she knows what to do with that. 50 to 22, a rather quiet night, at least in terms of the, the score sheet for the Greenfield sophomore guard, but she's had games, several games in the 20s this year. 
And now Hazleton with a steal. Here comes Reagan Hickey, 4.25 to play in the basketball game. Throws left side to Provost. Sam Smith, left side Raquel Provost. Coming through. Now here comes Katie Hazleton. Reagan Hickey, left side pass on the wing. Coming through Provost, goes right baseline, her runner. Tough angle shot, no good. Sobieski comes up with the loose ball. Halfway through the fourth quarter, Greenfield leads by 28. Eddie Roberts on the right side. Deep three ball, left side is good by Olivia Dean. Bang, and you know what? That was nothing but nylon right there for Olivia. That was a nice feed by Ariana Walker, Sam Smith. Gets it back to Reagan Hickey. 50 to 25, Greenfield by 25. Sam Smith, top of the key. Right side pass, Reagan Hickey. Reagan, bounce pass to Katie Hazelton. Turn, shoots. Back rim, no. Rebound comes down to Frontier. Taking it across is Mackin. Has it on the right wing, bounce pass to Roberts. Abby throws, Ariana Walker left side to Dean. In the left corner to Mackin. Mackin going baseline, loses it. Got it back, goes to the floor. And we got a foul called down low. Looks like that's going to go on Greenfield. Nope. Going to go against Mackin, I believe. Well, yep. we got a whole line change going on here, my brother. Whoa. <laughs> Reed, Rivera, Madison Kacheski. Eva Lily. Pruitt Dahl is yeah. all they've all checked in. So like in there too, yeah. yeah. Later, yeah. Cack is out there, yeah. is she? Yep, yeah, there she Kack's is. Cack's out there, yeah. Line change. There she is. <laughs> Why not? Three minutes left here. Rivera gets to throw in a reach and foul call. That's going to go against Frontier. That was on Demon, that's her third. Yep. 16 foul, so nope. Greenfield not shooting yet. They got it on Olivia Dean. Mm -hmm. That's her first. All right. Well, Rivera will throw in. Next one's uh, free throws for Greenfield if uh, Frontier fouls again. Oh, here we go. A steal by Frontier. And running it down, Christina Reed tried to get oh, the ball Christina. back, goes out of bounds. Frontier will get the ball back. And who will throw in? Olivia Dean will throw in. And we have a brief stoppage of play. And again, lead official. Burgi going over. He's done good with that shot clock tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Dean throws in. Marie Demon all by herself put it up and in over Bree Rivera. Makes it 50 to 27 Greenfield. Now a steal by Dean. Passes right side to Roberts. Top of the key. They work at left side. Demon fakes the three, goes baseline. Try to wrap around. Pass down low, poked away. And coming through on the right side. And that's going to be a travel. Nice defense there. As uh, Eva Pruitt Dahl got bottled up there. She sure did. D right there, very good D. Couple more, no, three more substitutions for Frontier. Who do we got coming in? We got Mace Paulin coming in. Also coming out there. Wearing number 24, Georgia Zachary. Call up from the JV, so yep. she has checked in for her first minutes. And we've got Amanda Fuller, junior guard. That's good. So These girls play. I like it. So Marie Dima will run the point right now. Has that run of the lane. Loses control. Maddie Kaczewski comes up with it for Greenfield. Eva Pruitt Del Haddock a bonked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Green Wave. And looks like uh, looks like it'll be Rivera to throw in. Marie gets it into Kaczewski. Side to Rivera, back to Kaczewski, touch top of the key, right side pass, Pruitt Dahl, double team there, bounce pass to Richardson, who also checked in. Shot clock at 15, on the right side, Richardson. Poked away, nicely done there by Zachary, has it. Georgia throws it on the head to Marie Demon, takes that right power move to the bucket, puts it up and in. Yeah, nice job right there by Zachary. Nice to see one of the JV players 
get some quality plays here on the varsity level. 50 to 29, two minutes to play. Our post game show coming up next. Richardson, bounce pass, picked away by the Hawks. Running it up on the right is Fuller. Fuller gets it, Mary Demon now. Bounce pass, Fuller. The swing at left side, a rainbow three is put up no good by Mays Pollen. Put back up and in. Oh wow, Sacri doing a nice job down low. Good minutes here for Sacri. 50 to 31 Greenfield. Kelsey Richardson has it. She'll go right baseline. Her runner, a little bit too strong, no good. Tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier with a minute 20 to play. And here comes Kackelmeyer in for Greenfield, replacing Christina Reed. Looks like everybody got to play here tonight. I love it. Everybody on Greenfield's roster, yes. All got in. Everyone got in. I like it. Coming down to one minute to play again. Helen, chemical player of the game on the post game show. Nice job from the left side, put up and in. 50 to 33 now. Greenfield's leads down to 17. If there was five minutes left in the game, of course, we'd have different personnel out there, obviously. Right. But a nice run here by Frontier again, only six points in the first half. Richardson got blocked, but a foul called against Zachary. She'll get a couple free throws, and she'll have an opportunity to get in the scoring column here, Kelsey. 50.3 seconds left to play in the basketball game. Kelsey's one of my buddies. First freebie is up, is around the rim and in. It's good. Should get one more. One more for Richardson. Spins it, sights it, shoots it, makes it. Very good. Greenfield 52, Frontier 33. 45 seconds left to play in this one. Lori Demon. Right side pass. Coming through is Fuller. Wrap around pass. Down low. Loose ball. Battle for Kaczewski going after a hard held ball. Greenfield ball on the arrow. He's watching that junior varsity game and yeah. Madison Kaczewski is a very aggressive player. She's a she hustles a lot out there. Good defense. Very good defense. She's, she's not an offensive player, but she's very good on the defensive end. She's the daughter of Greenfield Athletic Director and head football coach Mike Kaczewski, our old, uh, high, school, uh, high school classmate teammate. Absolutely. Maddie got blocked on the way up on that shot. Bree Rivera got the rebound. Back to Kaczewski. Maddie the paint. Stripped of the ball, big battle for it, poked around. Eight seconds left, and it comes back down the front to the glove. One more chance to score here. Marie Demon down low, out of bounds to Greenfield with 1.6 seconds left, so it looks like we got a final here. And very close to the final of the first game, as it turns out, very close. Final score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Greenfield 52. Frontier 33 for Bobby C and for Dave Reno. I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Good night from Greenfield High School.